Howdy everybody, so I have this uh, maintenance indicator light only. No check engine light, just a maintenance indicator light. Okay, there's the miles, 414, 837. And then if I scroll over here to where the, the codes are, okay, zoom in on that. You'll see that there's no, there's no indication of any fault codes anywhere. And I scrolled all the way through there, nothing. Just the maintenance indicator light. So what I did was I hooked up my laptop and I'm like, okay, let's see what the laptop shows. Now, this is this is an older laptop, <laughs> but it still works. That's why I hang on to it. Um, it shows a fault code right there. Emissions 4364 FMI 17 count one. After treatment, one, SCR conversion efficiency data, valid but below normal. I was traveling through New Mexico, rolling hills. This happened about, I don't know, one o'clock in the morning last night. And this maintenance indicator light popped up, but no fault codes. So I continued to drive on and I drove all the way over here to Lowe's in El Paso. I have a delivery to make this afternoon and pick up my next load. And I'm thinking, well, there's a couple ways I could address this. Um, you know, I could do a regen, see if that clears it. I could turn the, ice, the battery isolation switch on and off, see if that clears it. Or I could just clear it here with the laptop and then see if it comes back. You know, if, if, it's, if it comes back, then I think it warrants a trip to Freightliner. Because it would still be under warranty. But the thing is, is that how I look at this is that I can't keep running a Freightliner every single time this truck throws a fault code. I mean, I was in Freightliner last week. You know, I got the new DEF doser valve and new wire harness. You know, this week I got this main syndicator light. So am I going to run the Freightliner again? You know, I can't do this every single week and try to run a business with a profit. So my thinking is, is that I'll clear this code with a laptop you know I'm aware of it I I've done some basic research on it there's not a lot of information out there that I can find right now um, and then it wait and see if it comes back you know it it does say that the efficiency data is valid but below normal well that could be because of the atmospheric conditions I was driving through you know New Mexico has a uh, uh, history of having uh, problems with after treatment systems. I had talked to a Detroit diesel mechanic a year ago when my turbo went out and they, they explained that the, the variation in altitudes, you know, going through these mountains wrecks havoc on the truck. You know, it could be, your truck could be perfectly fine, but changing the, the altitudes and the, the, um, atmosphere of the condition you know the, the air is very dry for example you know there's there's a lot of things about driving in Rocky Mountains that puts your truck through a little more extreme conditions than it normally otherwise would so minor little things will pop up that you know you would never see in Atlanta or Chicago <laughs> but you'll see in Albuquerque or or in uh, Denver or in uh, Idaho for example or in Oregon but you won't see it in other parts of the country. So I think I'll just clear this and then um, just be aware of it. Then see if it comes back. If it comes back, then it warrants a trip to Freightliner or Detroit Diesel. Um, it could be one of those things where it just pops up. You know, it detected something uh, momentarily, but not enough to throw an active fault code. You know, because if you go through here, you know, through this maintenance, um, menu you can see the active faults zero okay so it's not even active and the truck is opti idled you know on and off throughout the night now it's never come back as an active code 
Now, if it was an active code and it, it remained active, then you know maybe I have a different strategy. But it came up once, but never actually, you know, illustrated that it was a code. I had to hook up the laptop to find the code. Um, I think it's just something I'll just clear and then um, just be aware of it. So we'll zoom in on here. See that red X? It says faults. We'll click on that. It says clear all fault codes. Clear codes may affect warranty coverage. Main syndicator light's gone now. So I cleared it and now we'll just see if it comes back. If it comes back, then we know that we're gonna have to take it in and have Detroit Diesel certified mechanic take a look at it. And if there is a problem, it would be under warranty.